Hi, as soon as I'm in the mood for Silent Hill reviews, I do apologise about my appearance. I just haven't bothered with anything today. <sighs> if you don't like the look of me, don't watch the video. <laughs> this is what I look like. I want to review this. I hope I can review it. I've played it once. I hope I can review it. Um, if you don't want anything spoiled, do not watch because I want to talk about things. So if you don't want to spoil, do not watch my review. I'll put this at the start. This is in the middle, but it's going at the start because I can edit stuff. Fantastic. Yeah, so I got this. I'd heard things about it. I'd read, read comments. <laughs> read comments on YouTube. And people are like commenting on Silent Hill 2 saying, This is so much better than that downpour shit. So I thought, oh my god. And I'd seen people playing it sort of with running. Lots of running involved. <laughs> and I was like, what? You know, he used to run that much in Silent Hill. What the hell's that about? Um, it's also good for scratching your head. I love it. <laughs> I do like it very much. I love how it looks. I love how it plays. It's so good. Um, when you compare it to how this controls, this is just amazing. It just goes so well. It has to control well. You can invert the camera and everything in this, you can't in this, it's a bit confusing. It has to work well in this, because this is very, very different. It's not like any Silent Hill you've ever played. It does feel very different. And I wasn't sure about it. It's not kind of the typical Silent Hill. You do go to the kind of twisted side of it, but it's, it's just not really... It doesn't really feel like Silent Hill, but it does at the same time. The enemies in this don't feel like monsters in Silent Hill for me. They don't. They just look like a, a typical monster in like another horror um, game. But they did scare the shit out of me. Um, more so the girls. Um, I don't know, they just move a bit weird. They just move a bit strange. <laughs> it's like odd. This is the only Silent Hill that has made me scared to play it. Um, I was playing it and I was feeling sick to the stomach. It's just so atmospheric and you feel like something's going to jump out of you all the time. Some bits in this made me scream and I'm not joking. They just surprised me and made me jump so much. There's a bit towards the end when you're in the prison. Oh my god, I fucking shit myself. I knew something was going to happen but it wasn't what I thought. I just turned around and it happened and I absolutely fucking shit myself. You have no idea. And I just went around the entire game saying, I'm scared. Oh my god. I feel so scared. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> Try not to look too scared. Something's gonna fucking jump out at me. So it's really fucking scary. I really did get creeped out by it. The first time the women come into it, I ran into a kitchen and I was focusing on picking up a frying pan off the floor so I was like right focusing on that, what button does that, oh it's on there, get in, get in line with it, I'm focusing on all this stuff and she comes running at the side and attacks me from the left and I fucking screamed. There's a, it's kind of dark, it's a dark game, um, it's kind of hard to see where you're going sometimes, there's one section where you transform a room. I'm not going to say anything, but you transform it. It's about kids and a forest. You'll know if you've played it. And um, it transforms and you have to find your way. And I couldn't see fuck all. I was running, I was like, I don't know where to go. It was like this very small area. I just didn't know where to go. It was kind of hard to see. So it is a little bit dark. There's loads of side quests on this. I didn't do half of them because I was too fucking scared to explore the town. It's hard as well, but it's not ridiculously homecoming hard. That is stupidly hard, that game, but this isn't. Um, the combat works very well also. Let me think what else. I was kind of disappointed by the ending. It didn't have a very Silent Hill feeling ending, I don't think. I mean, I, I got two because you can redo the end and I got the other one as well. But the end and I got... I don't know. I felt very let down by it. I thought there was going to be more twist at the end. There's some strange things through this that make you think that it's going to be a big twist. Like there's hints. Um, if you don't want anything spoiled, do not watch because I want to talk about things. Yes. 
there's different kind of things about his kid. Like there's hints that he was put in, uh, well, invited into a van by the friendly neighbour by a, a comic book. There's a little drawing, the friendly neighbour, and it's showing him saying, get in my car. So like, did he tell him to get in the car? Was he like pretending he was all nice and stuff and, and the kid got in the car? Charlie, I think it's called. But then you're like, well, you know something's happened with a nasty man and Joel Child. But then there's a scene where he's running into fog and he just kind of disappears. And there's a scene where you're, he's in water. And there's all these different kind of things. And I was thinking there's going to be a real twist. A real twist about what happened to his son. It's going to be misleading you. Um, there's a dude in a wheelchair as well. You do find out what he is, who he is. But I don't get why he's leading you and why he appears and stuff. And I don't get why you sort of disconnect him from life support at the end of the game. And it's just confusing things. And there's a postman who just appears at randomly. And I don't think it explains a lot about those things. I don't know. Maybe I missed stuff. But I completed it. And I felt incomplete. I found the game fantastic. I don't get people that say it's rubbish. It really isn't. It's a really good game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's fucking scary. It looks good. The running away from that weird fire type thing. I don't know what it is. It's like um, something that chases you. And you just have to run away from it. Which is a bit, a bit scary and a bit horrible. What the hell was I? Yeah, that's that's quite different. It's a different take on Silent Hill, I quite like it. You have to slide down these slopes and avoid all these weird obstacles. It's fantastic, and oh my god, the train ride into the town was amazing! <laughs> Maybe I'm easily amused, but I thought it was fantastic! It's you see things moving, you're like, did I just see that? And then they're getting close to the train, and it, it's really eerie. And there's also a sound effect or a musical thing they use when you get into town, into the town, Silent Hill. And it's eerie as hell. It sounds amazing and it looks amazing and the rain, the whole rain thing, it's fantastically interesting. And I do love it. I just don't think it feels like Silent Hill in places. The town looks amazing, don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic. I really like it. I don't care if people say it's rubbish, it is very different. Don't get me wrong, it's very different, but it plays very well. And it's interesting. I was just let down by the ending. I just didn't think anything of it. I got two endings on the four kind of the second one I got kind of fit more in, but No. <laughs> the uh nun scare as well. She looks like a wax work. <laughs> like, that was actually quite an interesting little section of the game. It was weird. There were some confusing bits in as well. I was like, I don't fucking really understand what's going on. <laughs> I don't understand. But yeah, if you want a different kind of feeling, Silent Hill, because they're all kind of they're very similar, aren't they, really? Silent Hill, it's about going there and getting into a load of scary shit, going into the alternate version of Silent Hill, seeing even more scary shit. <sighs> you get my drift. Anyway, I really liked it. I really did. Um, I started playing straight back through it again. I liked it that much. Yeah, so I think it's cool. Um, a lot of people don't like it. I can understand it, really, because when I first started playing I was like, oh, I don't know, it's a bit too different. Um, but the more you play it, the greater it feels. And like I say, no other Silent Hills made me feel that uneasy. Honestly. It just made me feel really, really uneasy. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was a good enough review, um, I feel it was more enthusiastic than informative, but, <laughs> well, um, I hope you enjoyed, and, um, I really recommend trying it if you're a Silent Hill fan, it's quite different, but it's still a good Silent Hill game to me, so, I really recommend it, see you later. <laughs>